So in the first question of this third exercise, we have been given a few set of solids and we'll have to determine what cross sections do we get when we give a vertical cut or a horizontal cut to each of these solids. So basically we'll take each of the solids one by one and we'll observe the cross sections we get once we give a vertical or a horizontal cut to each of these solids. So let us see the first solid of the question, which is a brick. And if we observe this solid and give a vertical cut to this solid along this line, we'll see that the solid would be divided into two parts, as we can see in this figure, where this part represents the cross section, which in this case would be a square. Again, if we cut the same solid horizontally as being seen here in this direction, we'll again see that the solid would be divided into two parts as we can see here. And then again, the cross section, which is this part represents a rectangle. So to summarize what we have got in case of this brick, that if we cut the brick vertically, the cross section represents a square and if we cut the brick horizontally, the cross section represents a rectangle. Let us now move on to the next solid of the question. So the next solid represents a round apple which has been taken with the help of this spherical ball. And if this is cut vertically along this line in this direction, we'll again see that this round apple would be divided into two parts as we can see here in this figure where this represents the cross section which would give us this shape which is a circle. Again, if we cut the same round apple in this way such that we get the horizontal cut, we'll again see that the round apple is again divided into two parts and the cross section here again which is this part represents this circle. So either if we give a vertical cut or a horizontal cut to this round apple, we get the same cross section, which is a circle in case of this solid. Let us now move on to the next solid. Now here we have a die, which we see is nothing but a cube shaped solid. Now if we cut the die, along this dotted lines in this direction, which will give us the vertical cut, we'll again see that the die is divided into two parts, as we can see here in this particular figure, where this cross section, which is this part, represents a square. Again, if we consider the same die and if we give a horizontal cut in this direction along this line, we'll again see that the die would be divided into two parts as we can see here. And this cross section as we can see in this diagram would again give the same cross section, which would be a square. So basically, if we cut a die, which is a cube shaped always, if we cut it vertically or horizontally, we'll get the same cross section, which is a square. Let us now move on to the next solid of the question. In this part, we do have a circular pipe. And if we cut the circular pipe along this line vertically, so the pipe would be divided into two parts. So these are the two parts where we can see that the circular pipe is being opened and the cross section, which is not visible here, would be represented by this part, which would be seen as this particular rectangle where the height of the pipe represents the length of the rectangle here. And the circular base would represent the breadth or the width of the rectangle. Again, if the same figure is taken and is cut horizontally in this way, we'll see that the diagram or the solid would again be divided into two parts and this would be the cross section as we can see here where the cross section would again represents a circle. 
So basically we can say to summarize what we have got here that when a circular pipe is cut vertically we would get a rectangle and if it's cut horizontally we'll get a circle as the cross section. Let us now move on to the next solid of the question. So in this part we have the solid which is an ice cream cone and if this is cut along this line we'll see that we'll get the vertical cut and the ice cream cone would be divided into two parts as we can see in this diagram. So here again we are doing the same thing we are cutting it and then we are opening the folding of the solid and hence we can say that we'll get this cross section which is kind of a triangle but yes the base is curved because of the base of the ice cream cone. Next if we take this particular solid again and if we cut it horizontally as we can see in this diagram like this we'll get the two parts as this and we'll again see that the cross section would be this part as we can see here would represent a circle and hence we can say for an ice cream cone if we cut it vertically we'll get this shape and if we cut it horizontally we'll get a circle. So hence these are the different ways through which we can cut different solids vertically and horizontally and then we can observe the cross sections and this is how we can answer the first question of this exercise. To know more about how QMath can help you become a master of math, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program taught by highly experienced and committed teachers.